yes, we're traveling again, this time to Florida. Okay, we're in Orlando, Florida. We're here at the Bahama Breeze, came out for some dinner. We're here with our family. Our kids came with us for vacation this time because we're going to a wedding, but we're going to have fun in Orlando first. What do you order it? Uh, grilled chicken sandwich. Mm, yes. Jerick? Jerick order it. <laughs> Jerick order it. Tacos, whatever. I got baby back ribs. Wow, it's good. And I ordered paella. Paella. Seafood paella. Jared, what's the name of this place? Bahama, Bahama Breeze. Yeah. Today we are in the shuttle on the way to Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida. Say hi, guys. Say hi. We're really excited to be taking this trip. We didn't expect at our kids' age to be able to keep going on vacations with them. We've done a lot of vacationing in the past, a lot of cruises. We've been to Disneyland, Disney World, Universal Studios. It had been a long time since we'd been to Disney World, and so when this w our family wedding came up in that general area, we decided to go ahead and have the kids take a day or two off of work, and we were able to just put a day of Disney World before the wedding and a day after uh, before we traveled home so we're excited this is a lot of fun Smugglers Run, getting ready to go in, and we're right behind the Millennium Falcon.
Next we're going Jones. to Indiana Jones. Indian Jones? Spectacular. Star Wars experience called Star Tours uh, here at Orlando. We're going to take a look at this one. Guys, where are we now? Uh, Muppets Vision 3D. Oh, wow. Okay, my family just went on the Slinky Dog Dash. It's a roller coaster. It's really a kid's roller coaster here in the the um, <laughs> the toy what is it Toyland area? I I know I just screwed that up. Anyway, um, but I don't do these anymore, even for kid type roller coasters. Ah, it's better than a kid's roller coaster. Look at that. Yep, never liked them, and for now, sure as an adult, I'm just done with them. Here they go. Here we go.
wedding yesterday, so it's our second day that we're going to go to Disney World. It's early in the morning. Came down for for breakfast. coffee and breakfast, and Lydia's making me uh, film Human. before I even get ready for the day. Yeah, so me too. Didn't sorry really about it. My face. So it is what it is. We are ready for another adventure. Yeah, my <laughs> Lydia's in line to get her bag checked. She's looking so cute over there. So we're here today, we're at Animal Kingdom. Here at the entrance. Okay, here she comes. Ready for an adventure. Yes. How long do we have to wait? Uh, uh, five minutes or so. Oh, that's good. This is my wonderful husband.
there's like big carvings on the tree so I'll zoom in to try to show it. There you are my friends, amazing. Uh, she's a trumpeter hornbill and yeah she just uh, did something a little spooky so we always want to add him in the back to the front right through this room. All right let's test it. What do you think Caroline? We've got our forest. Nice! Have a great big round of applause for our floors. Ready? That was hard. <laughs> okay, let's count down for liftoff in three, two, one! Yeah! <laughs> And that is Groucho, the only thing that's on camera. It's not funny. It's pretty big. And what they do in nature is what makes them super special, right? These birds, they come across something that has died, and, um, and they eat it. It's really gross, but that's really important because it helps to stop the spread of disease and it returns nitrogen to the planet and that helps stuff to grow. So they're like nature's recyclers. And that kind of serves as our friendly reminder to do a little bit of recycling ourselves. I think the world would be a much, much cleaner place. And it's uh, pretty cool to see him in flight, right? But he can actually move on the ground surprisingly quick. This is a Marabu stork at top speed and power. Get a little hole on the ground. Hey, buddy. I mean, that was such a hard thing for him. So, I mean, this is what we do with Trey, right? It's like, whenever these guys, they have a big struggle like that, we give them lots of information, although sometimes it's silly. And times, well, they raise it. What's your excuse, then? What was that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> difference by doing little things that we brought them back from the brink of extinction. And everybody's out.